Tell us about Australia with respect to the meetings, Mark. Well, it's uh, obviously a, a hot destination with Americans. For uh, 11 years running, Australia's been voted the number one destination that all Americans want to travel to, with time and money was no object, as per the Harris Poll Survey. So, as you can imagine, when you have a destination that your consumers want, it's a perfect one to present as a next incentive and meetings destination. So, uh, today we were at ITME for uh, this week, and in true Aussie style, we thought we'd bring the pub to the Americans. Because, uh, as you know, the uh, Australians like to have what we call a yarn, which uh, translated into American is have a chat. So we thought we'd invite our American friends to the Aussie pub and uh, meet with some Aussies and hear about what's hot and what we can do to make the next incentive program the best ever. Boy, she, you don't have to ask her anything, do we? She's got it all down. And she brought part of Australia with her, as you I can tell. This. this is one of our special friends. This is uh, Skippy, and uh, Skippy is seven months old. And of course, you know, that's one of the great things about Australia. Not only the people, but the animals are so unique. And uh, imagine taking an incentive program down to Australia where they see these jumping over the golf courses, in the woods, just beautiful. The last time I was there, I actually got to engage one, not quite as nice as Michelle is doing, but uh, so tell me, how has this show been so far? We've had some great interest. As you know, you know, the incentives market and destinations are very cyclical and what's hot one year may not be hot the next year. But we've got some great interest um, from all ranges of sizes, from the VIP incentive for 20 people to waves of uh, 10 groups of 150. So um, all uh, industries seem to be performing well, from technology to pharmaceutical. Um, I've got some pretty happy buyers here. Well, I can tell you from my own experience when I was there, these folks are the f happiest and most friendly people when it comes to Americans that you could ever want. I climbed the bridge in the Sydney Harbor, and uh, maybe you'd like to comment on, would your incentive groups be happy doing that? Absolutely, and Richard, as you know, is uh, climbing the bridge. Um, it's a, it looks daunting, but it's a, a leisurely stroll, isn't it? And the views are absolutely spectacular, 360 degrees. And to be able to see all those icons of Sydney, the Opera House, the Harbour, is spectacular. And a great team building event. So it, it certainly is. I turned around and there was Sydney right behind me. Sunset on the other side. It was amazing. Anything I'm, else you'd like to tell our uh, listeners and viewers about Australia in general? Australia really has something for everybody, uh, whether it's a, a week incentive, 10 days, uh, whether they want to do one destination or two. You know, we're very fortunate, whether it's um, Sydney only, there are so many experiences within two hours radius, whether they want to do the coastal beautiful beaches, learn how to surf, interact with a fabulous uh, Aussie lifesaver, that's one that works really well um, with the female audience. Uh, food and wine, golf, um, the experiences are endless. Plus, you know, we have many World Heritage Sites in Australia. So heritage and culture is you know, extremely important today as um, people want to touch and immerse themselves in, in what the country has to offer. So a little bit of something for everybody. And, you know, the other thing we need to tell everybody is that it seems a bit confusing is the travelling time. From LA, it's only 13 and a half hours. So it's not the, uh, the 72 hours and, and the three days. Basically, if any of the incentive houses are organising programs in Paris, Rome, Russia, Asia, they should be considering Australia because it's the same travelling distance from the West Coast. What a positive amount of information for all the, all the, the viewers. I, um, I, I don't think there's much else for us to say or, or worry about. Michelle has, has done it all and we've got, uh, is it Timmy? Skippy. Skippy, Skippy here to... Um, put a stamp of approval on all that.